Governor John Carney had a lot to address today inside of this Senate chamber for the very first time to address a joint session of the General Assembly. It's no secret that the state of Delaware faces a number of challenges and chief among those is the budget. There were gaps. It is my honor and privilege on behalf of the escort committee to present to you our honorable governor, John C. Markell, for his special address. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. There were laughs. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor Den. <laughs> but all in all, Governor John Carney's speech was all about getting down to business. But we all seem to agree on one thing. Business, as usual, has to change. If we're going to tackle the tough issues that confront us, we need to get our financial house in order. The budget and the $385 million shortfall, the central focus of a speech that lasted well over 20 minutes. Some things are beyond our control, but this one is not. It's within our power this June to put ourselves on a more sustainable financial footing. Other topics included the Department of Corrections, the drug epidemic, agriculture, economic development, and education. Perhaps more important than anything we do to strengthen our economy is getting our schools on track and making sure that every child in our state is college or career ready. Local legislators on hand for the speech were both apprehensive and appreciative of the governor's efforts. Unfortunately, I didn't hear a lot about Sussex County. Uh, he mentioned Seaford once uh, in terms of redoing the, the industrial park that's out there, but uh, in terms of targeted things for Sussex County, I didn't hear much about it, and, and that's actually a little disappointing. Uh, this is a difficult budget environment. As someone who represents a district that has a $6.9 billion economic impact on our state, it's important for us to do the math early, and I appreciate the governor giving us those numbers early, knowing full well that they're going to be fluctuating, and we're all going to be kind of playing some transitional defense over the course of the next three months. And if you want to see any more of our coverage that we had throughout the day, you can see it on Facebook or Twitter, or you can go to our website, 47abc.com. The governor says he has plenty more events planned, not only here in Dover, but also on the lower eastern shore. We'll have more coverage from Dover as the days progress. In Dover, for now, I'm Ryan Eldridge, 47 ABC.